All right, you have the shock volt SV55, and I'm critical of it because it's a low-end phone, but if that's what you have, uh, that's what you have. Uh, it's, a, it's not a great budget phone, but it's okay. So, but you want it to go faster, and, and thankfully, there is a little tiny adjustment you can make inside of, deep inside of the phone to make it go faster. So, let's learn right away. All right, so... We're going to swipe down. We're going to use two phones. I'm going to do the changes on one phone, and then we'll compare uh, the speed of which, how they react. So let's go to settings. So I like to go to settings by two swipes. Let me start over so you can see how I do that. Swipe at the battery once, swipe at the battery twice. Settings, settings. We're going to go all the way down to about phone. We're going to go all the way to build number. Now let's change, let's change this one. So we're going to tap build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it makes us a developer. So it gives us the deeper software inside of the phone. It's nothing to be intimidated by. Let's back out. Let's hit about phone again. And it's going to give us, oh, no, we have to go to software now. Systems. Let me, uh, I gotta, I gotta push pause. I forgot where to go. Okay. Yeah, I was right there. All right. We're going to go to systems advanced and then here we go. Developer options. All right. So inside of developer options, so it's nothing to be intimidated about, but it's, it's also, you have to be very careful to not accidentally touch, uh, some options that you don't want. So we want the developer options to be on. And now we're going to scroll quite a ways to find something called drawing. There's debugging right there. It might take a moment. I don't do this all the time. There's networking. Default USB. There's, there's so many settings. Input. Okay, here we go. Drawing. I see it. Drawing. Inside of this drawing, so you see that word drawing right there. So we want three settings here. Let's scroll them up, and they're all in a row. They're not, you don't miss them, okay? Windows animation, transition animation, and animator duration scale. So all of these, when your phone functions and does a thing, it uses the phone to actually make it transition and, and make a little doodad. So... There's two, we're going to turn it off and we're going to turn it in half. So let's just do the first one. So right now it, the default is one time. So let's touch it and let's do 0.5. Okay. Let's go to transition. And we're going to do all three of these. Transition animation, 0.5. Animator duration scale, 0.5. See, that was easy. Nothing to be intimidated about. Don't touch anything else. Exit out, exit out, and let's press the circle for home, circle for home. Now, let's just do a few things. Let's make sure that everything is closed inside the phone. So let's bring up everything that we've opened by hitting the square. And let's slide over here. And let's do clear all. Okay, now let's just touch the phone and see how long it takes for the software to bring up the phone. And we're going to look to see if this one seems faster. One, two, three, touch at the same time. Actually, I think I touched this one a little bit faster. This one it did not seem faster. Let's try again. Seems about the same. Okay. So let's go back to home. Let's bring up the camera. One, two, three, try to touch at the same time. Definitely comes up faster. See how there's an animation we got to wait for? All right, this has a lot of stuff to load. All right, let's exit out again. Let's close everything. And let's touch camera. One, two, three, touch camera. Seems about the same. Seems about the same. Okay, let's bring up uh, let's bring up YouTube. Let 
Let's see. Yeah, the left one is a little bit faster. Problem with the server. Okay, we'll retry those. Okay, that's not... We're just looking for some speed difference. All right, maybe it, it's not so pronounced on this one. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Let's just go to settings. There we go. Well, after the first time that we saw that it seemed a little bit quicker. Let's go to battery settings. It's slightly faster. Now you can see it. Maybe it takes a minute to set everything up. All right. So that definitely, in other phones, um, it, it, it is visually faster. Now I'm going to show you, let's go back into the developer settings and I'll show you there was another choice. So let me show you what happens if we choose that other choice. So swipe down once, swipe down again. Let's go into settings. Scroll all the way down. Let's go into system. Let's go to advanced and go to developer options again. And we're going to go to those exact same settings, which were you know, quite a ways down. Hope I didn't pass them. I might have passed them. All right, let's go back up. There's drawing. I saw it. Drawing. All right, here we have our three window animation, transition, and animator. There was an option to turn it all the way off. So this is exactly how my phone runs. I have all the animations turned off. 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 Exit out of this. Now, actually I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put them both in standby for a moment. See if that makes a difference. Okay, let's see if we can tell. Definitely came up a little quick, quicker. Now let's touch the phone. Came up faster. Okay, now let's get out of the phone and let's go to camera. This one came up in an instant. Did you see that? Let's close everything. Clear all. That one did it in an instant. So let me touch camera again, see if I can see if you can spot how quickly this side is. One, two, three. So imagine that your phone, with every single time you go to something different, whether you make a phone call, take a picture, check something on the internet, where it's just a degree faster. It's not doubling the speed like, you know, some of the clickbait kind of titles say. It, it does make it faster, and it is worth your time, especially on this budget phone, which has a slow processor. It's not awesome, but you can make it a half a degree or one degree a little more awesome to use if you make those adjustments. Now you can speed up your shock volt. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.